Thank you. No Thank you, Dan, and thanks to all of you for being here today. I, for one, believe that uh, uh, we cannot simply accept the status quo. Uh, it, uh, it is fine to cite statistics and, uh, and the numbers that Sam has done throughout the course of this hour, but it does not reflect the realities of the people of the city, neither the businesses, nor the families, nor the organizations that struggle day in and day out to make this city work and to build a better future for everyone. I, for one, believe that we cannot accept the current uh, uh, status quo. We've got to, in fact, build based on the ideas of reinvesting in our community, drawing on the strengths of the people that have so much to offer, and going back to those days of strategic partnerships where we've been able to accomplish so much in the midst of very, very difficult circumstances. You know, Dan, you're right. At the outset, you asked me, it's not about running against something, but for something. And I want to, in fact, say that's, that's what I've been doing and what I want to do in this campaign is to say, I believe we can make City Hall that is more open and accountable, where everyone can feel a part of the decision-making process and where you know what the roadmap is, where you've actually got a timetable and a plan for getting through some of the most difficult problems uh, imaginable. And we can do that if, in fact, we have strategic partnerships with, uh, with the business community, with, with, the, with the nonprofit sector, with residents associations and community activists. If we start to tap into that creative spirit, that innovative spirit that has held us in good stead for so many, many uh, years, we can actually overcome the, the most difficult problems that we're facing right now and, and, and get to uh, a, a day when we can envisage ourselves as being on the map in this country as a world-class city where everyone is able to live in strong, safe, vibrant, inclusive, sustainable neighborhoods as part of a vibrant and strong economy that has an incredible incredible outlook for the future. Thanks very much for all of your uh, input and ideas and I look forward to, uh, to being in touch with you over the next couple of weeks. I'd like to now uh, invite Mike Major, President and CEO of CA Manitoba to come up. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it was entertaining and also enlightening uh, on behalf of CA Manitoba in support of an issue, uh, an event that is very important where we get the opportunity to hear the thoughts, views, and aspirations of the possible leaders who will guide our city forward, our fine city, a place we call home. At CA Manitoba, one of our activities is to advocate on behalf of our 194,000 members on issues of concern for them. And while we acknowledge the candidates have many many issues to deal with. The one that is near and dear to our hearts is that of good roads, infrastructure, and road safety. We all know the positive economic spin-off and the improved quality of life that comes with a high quality infrastructure. And we also have to emphasize that a high quality infrastructure is critical to having business come into our province and have business grow in our province. So with that, I'd like to close by thanking everybody for coming, thanking the Chamber for the opportunity to be here, and I wish everybody a good afternoon. Thank you. Well, hasn't this just been a terrific debate? Thank you both, Sam and Judy. I think it's really been wonderful. It's been great to hear you debate the issues. It's been lively. And uh, I'm sure we'll inspire all of you to go out and vote on October the 27th. Uh, so thank you very much. I think we should give them an applause. Terry and uh, and Jeff and Bartley, thank you very much. And Dad, where are you? Thank you.